Custom Master Detail Relationships SQL Variables Part 2 This tutorial applies to PHP Runner, ASPRunner.net and ASPRunner Pro. Let us explore the following condition on the following order and order detail relationships. Record 31, also ID 31 from the master table. In this case, orders has corresponding records in the order details table in column order ID. All good so far, except in this case, child records are also identified from the column order ID 1. I create a new project and add the two tables, orders and order details. I click on ID from the orders table and drop it on order ID from the details table to create the master detail relationship. But that's not all. A second column is involved. So I select ID again from the master table, yet at this time link it to order ID 1 of the details table. I want to see what this where clause looks like. So I go straight to the list page before the SQL query of the details table and set a session variable with $str where clause. Please note, I'm not making any changes to the where clause here. I now copy the session variable and go back to the page designer. I'm currently on the list page of the order details and create an extra cell. Here I create a custom code that will echo the session variable value which should contain the current where clause. Ok, let's see what is happening so far. Here I am on the orders list page, but the details are all empty. I click on any details link to expand, in this case ID34, and the issue is clear. The WHERE clause is where order ID equals to 34 and order ID 1 equals to 34. This condition can never be true. The AND must change to OR before this will work. So when looking at the master detail property window, it will always use AND which are correct. Trying to link a single master ID to more than one column in the details table will never work and is actually not a real master detail relationship. It is at this point where I would suggest to fix the detail table so all order IDs share a single column. But what if this is not possible? Well, a custom master detail relationship is needed then and even though I do not like it at all, I will share two methods on how this can be done. If you can think of or know of a different method, please let me know in the comments below. First, delete the relationship. So there is no link between the tables. Add a custom button to the orders list page and the button has to be in the grid. I'm not going to do anything at the client before event. At the server event, I get the record ID using get current record and store the value in a session variable called master. At the client after event, I open the details table in a pop-up. Last, I change the where clause in the list page before SQL query event from the details table to read the session variable from the button event. But first, Test to see if the session is set before doing so. And now the WHERE clause reads where order ID equals to the session or order ID 1 equals to the same session. I will keep session WC set so I can keep an eye on it. Ok, let's click on ID 31 
and the pop-up opens. Nothing wrong as the where clause is using OR instead of AND. Therefore three records as I expected to see. But do I like it? No I don't. There are too many unnecessary objects on this pop-up. And yes you can go and remove them. But how about we use a dashboard to show the data. Back at the project I add a dashboard. Merge the cells so I only have two rows. At the top section I add the data grid of the master table. And the details grid into the bottom section. Currently the button will still open the list page as a pop-up, so I change it to only refresh the page. Ok, so let's see how the dashboard works. I click on ID42 and yes, it seems to be working. But do I like it? Honestly, no, not at all. I am missing the list page ability to show detailed records inline. This brings me now to the second solution. Back at the project, I create a master detail link to at least one of the detail columns. Here we can show detail records on other pages and many other valuable settings. At the page designer, master list page, I remove the button as I now have the built in master detail functionality back at the tip of my fingers. I know that not all detail records are going to show, so I head over to the list page before SQL query of the details table and set session WC again so I can see what the query looks like. Yet this time I want to see the entire query and not only the where clause. Ok, on the order list page the detail links are back. I click on any as all I am interested in right now is the query string. The plan is to read the entire string and find the position of the last occurrence of the word WHERE. Once I have this position, I will remove everything that follows. This will leave me with a query without a WHERE clause. And then add my custom WHERE clause. And I think this might solve the problem. Back again at the project, the code will look like this. Find the position of the word WHERE and store it in a variable called $POS. You may want to google the PHP function strrpos for a better understanding of how it works. I now test to see if the word WHERE was actually found and only do something if it was found. I now use the substring function to cut the string at the position where the word where was found and store it in a new string in a variable called $TMPSQL. I now set the session WC with $TMPSQL only to verify that the where clause is removed. After upload and refresh, I select any and yes, the WHERE clause is gone. Back at the project I create a custom WHERE clause and will use the SQL variable master.field to determine the master record. The SQL variable master.field will only work if a master detail relationship exists. And yes, in this case we have one set up. I will replace field with ID. So the final SQL variable will be master.id. 
ID. I now complete the custom where clause with where order ID equals master.id or order ID 1 equals master.id. I now append or join the new where clause string. Very important, make sure you have at least one space in the beginning and at the end of the custom where clause. The reason for this is, order by code will be added when you click a column heading and the spaces are there to prevent SQL errors. I now prepare the new SQL string as it contains SQL variables and set $strsql with the new value. At the page designer I now remove the code snippet as I do not need it anymore.